hey welcome back to the second video so i now have the premium chat gpt plus plan up and running so as you can drag through here uh, you can see the three different models here so in the free version i think you are pretty much saying the legacy gpt3 so the reasoning level the speed and the consciousness is defined here whereas gpt4 reasoning is a lot better so it's easier it's a lot tougher to get this uh, tricked than with the previous versions and the default one is also here so what i have done here is i have uh, two prompts here and one more thing i wanted to mention here the, there is a cap of 25 messages only for every three hours so for three hours you can't do more than 25 messages uh, then you have to wait for three hours then retry it back so if you do it uh, do your math basically so 25 uh, um, so there so there's roughly eight hours you could do this so 25 into 8 is 200 prompts each day is what you can do with this plan so it's not unlimited so don't sign the sign up for this plan thinking it's unlimited it's only 200 per day what you can do with this so let's take an example here so the first one so let's move to a recipe here so i want to ask uh, the chat gpt for both three and four we are going to do both here so let me go here and uh, i i'm going to ask the same question to the default and gpt4 so i'm asking show me a recipe of a black bean burger where every product word starts with a uh, a so if you look at this not every product word uh, starts with a here so almond flour uh, yep looks reasonable uh, so one can of black beans so that's what we got here now let's go and ask the same question here to uh, gpt4 see if we get a different answer So yeah, so this is what we get. So practically it was impossible because anything with a black bean burger uh, should have black beans in it. So it, it can't be with any recipe with uh, alphabet A. So now let's move into here. And instead of the question I had here, I'll tweak it a little and I'll ask uh, it to do a samosa okay where every uh, word starts with a so let's see if it gives us a better answer here cool so this is what we got with uh, gpt 3.5 the default version and i'm gonna try the same with gpt 4 Yeah, this is something which is very hard even for professional chef if you ask them so they would have a defined a predefined recipe with which they cook so they would not be able to answer it on the fly so we are just testing some uh, tough use cases on gpt4 if it's gonna do a better job versus gpt3 and similarly you can play around with uh, different uh, uh, recipes and see the difference for yourself <laughs> so definitely this is uh, more uh, has better logical reasoning than what you can see with gpt3 uh, whereas gpt3 just gives uh, some basic steps whereas this gives a much more detailed steps on how you can prepare your food with whatever prompt you are asking so i'm asking an another question so basically i'll just show you the chart here 
so my question here is i have mentioned three people uh, think about three imaginary people so this is their timeline when they are available and the answer for this prompt should be 12 to 12 30 that's the only time when all the three people would be available and this one is more like uh, if you are into programming uh, if you uh, look at a uh, schedule meetings or anything like that this is something similar to that what outlook would do so i'm going to go to gpt3 and ask uh, this question what are the options to schedule a 30 minute meeting for this three people so what it says is schedule a meeting from 3:30 so is that correct so if i go check my prompt at 330 so i would i now need to ask uh, in option one are not robbie and avinash not available at 330 so you can actually see it it did not give the correct uh, meeting schedule so let me go and repeat this prompt to GPD-4 and see if it does a better job here. So this gave the right answer here. So 12 to 12.30 is the right time what we looked at and it gave a appropriate answer. So it has better logical reasoning than what GPT-3 has. And also I need to mention this, we don't know the exact parameters uh, OpenAI ha has trained GPT-4 with. It is not made public yet, but in terms of reasoning, it's doing a better job. They also release some benchmarks in some competitive exams and other stuff where GPT-4 outperformed GPT-3. And I'll attach that metrics if you are interested in looking at it in the uh, as an attachment, you can go through, read and uh, do a self-study. So the next thing I'm interested now is uh, let's actually go and ask our GPT-3 okay explain the plot of titanic movie in rhyming poem of four sentences and let's see what it does so okay and let's also ask the same stuff to gbd4 cool so we asked for four sentences here we got four sentences here we got much more than four sentences. So this is not four sentences. So I can do a follow up and ask, is that four Okay, so you had to ask it again to uh, regenerate this because it was not four sentences. Whereas GPD-4 did it by default, we didn't have to ask it. So the last one I am interested in doing is, uh, so I would go, uh, this one is a freak, uh, geeks for geeks question, wherein uh, uh, the uh, common question asked in Microsoft interviews here. So you can ask this question to both GPT-3 and GPT-4. Let's see which one solves this better. Okay. As you can see, we were looking for a Euclidean way of doing it in the solution. So extend Euclid's algorithm for GCD. And this one was able to do it much better than the other one. It even gave us the code. Uh, whereas GPT-4 was not that accurate. Uh, GPT-3.5 was not that accurate in doing this. So I just wanted to show this to you. And uh, currently there is no way to input an image to GPT-4 in chat GPT. 
So we have to explore this in the API part to see how we can do this. But there is no way I can currently provide an input of an image and ask questions. So let me figure that out how to do that. And that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope this helps. Thank you for joining.